Another great new feature in Omnisphere 2.0 is the ability to import your own audio. Now, this isn't to be confused with regular sampler functions. It doesn't import key maps and velocity splits and layers and zones and anything like that. It imports raw sample, maps it out across your keyboard, and then you can apply all the effects and synthesis parameters within Omnisphere to really mangle it and come up with some interesting creative results. There's two ways to get to the user audio import function. We can get to it from the utility menu where we go user audio, and this will call up a file dialog box where we can import it that way. And the other way is directly from within the sound source browser here. When user audio is enabled, we have this. We can just drag and drop over there. I'm going to close this for a moment, and I'm going to use the import function over here. And I'm going to bring in a little mix of some music. I'll just play a little bit of it, and you'll hear it's a full mix. So I'm going to hit open, and it's importing it now, and it's going to be in the user audio area, and it's, I'm getting a notification that it's been imported successfully. And just to look quickly here under the directory, we now have a new category. We have the user category. This is what we're used to seeing. Let me take off the user audio. But now we have user and this is what I've just imported today, and we can see it over there, and we can delete it if you want to remove the audio from within the finder. And to do that, I'm just going to switch to the finder here. You need to go to your Spectrosonics folder, your Steam folder, and within there, Omnisphere, Sound Sources, and then there'll be a user folder, and here's the audio I just imported, and you can delete it manually. And when you do that, make sure that after you delete it, you hit the refresh button in the Sound Source browser to bring it up to date. So what can you do with this in here? I'll play you middle C on my keyboard and it triggers it. And if I hit another note, it'll map it across and transpose it as expected. So what we can do is apply some of the unique synthesis features in Omnisphere. So I'll just give you a little teaser of what's coming ahead later in the videos. When we dig in, we can turn on, for example, granular synthesis and really mangle the audio by adjusting the parameters and breaking it down into pitch grains and things like that. So it's a lot of fun coming up with unique soundscape type of ideas. And if I turn this off, we'll hear the original again, of course. So that's just a little teaser of some of the things you can do with the synthesis engine here. So that's user audio, and you'll save it with your patch, and it'll be saved. And if we look in the sound source browser now, just to reiterate, we have a new category here. We have the user category under directory, and that's separate from the regular Spectrosonics Omnisphere library. See you for more in the next video.